Hi guys, it's Azrael, and today we're going to go over Terradrums Reign of the Legends development update for May 2023. Let's get right into it. Springing into the month of May, we've gone quite a bit to show off this month. A lot of work has gone into the next character, as well as the fixes to the current public build. Coding. Netcode adjustments. We've been taking some time to adjust the online experience this past month. We understand that there are still issues with matchmaking connections. This is our top priority for us at this time, while Spring Heel Jack's animations are in process. We are also looking to add spectators to online matches, however progress in this area of development has been tough. We'll update more on this feature in the future. Epic Online Services Integration. Another important feature we are working on is getting Terradrome Reign of the Legends on the Epic Game Store. You may have noticed that we are using Epic Online services in order to feature crossplay. This is a free service provided by Epic. We would like to clarify that you do not need an Epic Games account to play online. However, you currently do not have access to private matches without linking an Epic account. This is due to Epic Online Services Social Hub being used. This is changing in our next update as we have found a way to allow all players to have access to private matches regardless of linking an epic account or not. Balance and bug fixes. Of course we are always actively looking for any bugs and glitches in the game so that we may fix them. Please report any bugs or glitches you come across to us either here in the game discussion forum or our discord here. I'll link this discord in the video itself. So you can join the Discord if you want to comment and talk about the game in general. Spring Heel Jack has become our fastest developed character of the roster. Due to his lack of facial animations, he required less time to animate. He also shares a familiar body type with Helsing, meaning there is no need for complicated adjustments in animation like we had when developing the Wendigo. So saying that it's because he's a more simpler shape of a character than Wendigo, it was easier for them to develop them for his animations anyways. Spring Heel Jack's moveset has been finalized and his animations are nearly complete. All that is left to animate is his intro and outros to fight, and undergo some minor animation polishing. We cannot wait to show this character off with a vision we have in mind for him. We believe he will be a great new addition to the roster with a lot of fun abilities. Jack still has a long way to go and become playable. We still need to find an appropriate voice actor for the character. It is also going to take some time to implement this character into the game once his animations are complete. We are also planning to begin work on the Invisible Man's animations once Jack's are complete. The plan is to have the Invisible Man's animations be developed as Spring Heel Jack is being coded into the game. In other news, Arcade Stories. We have begun working on a demo of the Arcade Stories. The plan is to include a prologue cutscene when starting the Arcade Ladder, as well as an epilogue cutscene after the Arcade Ladder is complete. The narratives for these have been written and will follow a brief story about the selected character. We would like to specify that these are unrelated to the story mode and narrative we wish to tell in the future. In a way, we'd like to consider these alternate timelines. We're hoping to share more with you soon, but until then, here's this brief sneak peek at the shot from Frankenstein's arcade story. That about sums it up what we have to show this month. It's looking like we will have Spring Hill Jack's animations done soon so we can begin on the Invisible Man shortly after. We're planning to release another vlog in the coming weeks as well for more internal updates. We're hoping to release this by the end of the month, however the latest will be sometime in June. Until then, we appreciate our followers as well as we hope to share more with you soon. Thank you, the Terror Team. So overall, what we're getting is some more arcade stuff, so be on the lookout for videos about that. They're finalizing Spring Hill Jackson and should be out around the end of May. And the netcode's getting a little bit better, as well as the ep not needing to have an epic account to play private matches. So overall, a pretty fair update. Pretty simple update to, to say the least, but, but a well welcomed one. Thank you guys for all watching and I hope to see you soon in another video that I might be uploading about Terradrome or any other video game or any other fighting game. And yeah, hope you have an amazing night and see you soon. Inside this place is warm, outside it starts to bomb, coming down.